Commerce Annual Awards Banquet. We're going to be honoring things that happened in 2014. So what exactly did happen in 2014? I tell you, we had a very, very busy year as a chamber. We had all kinds of things going on at the school, through the school. Uh, lots of athletics always going on. We had our best turnout ever for our car show for the summer. We had our July 4th. We really got into uh, Fifth Friday art shows last year. Had every one of them, and we're continuing on with that this year. We have uh, a lot of committees in town that have been working really hard. Uh, we have our Slayton Gateway Landmark, which we will be breaking ground on pretty quick. We have had our cleanup Slayton efforts go all through last year, and let me tell you, those guys need a round of applause, don't they? Our city really did work out last year. They did a great job. They helped clean us up and help us stay clean. So we're going to get back into that again in 2015. Uh, and we have a lot of need for volunteers. And you know what? With all these committees and all these activities going on, there is a place for you somewhere. So if you are looking for a place, let us know what it is. The Slayton cleanup we do about once a quarter, and we do different areas of town, so it's just not always in the same place. Um, the athletics are always going on, um, and they're happening in all the different schools. Football field, baseball field, on campuses. Uh, we also have our new lake project that we're moving forward with, and I don't know the official name, but I've been calling it Slayton Lake. <laughs> but it's coming together pretty good. And since we uh, are out of our drought, that's going to be something good for that too. Uh, so I am very excited to tell everyone this year we had a great 2014. We're going to have a great 2015. And we always have a lot going on. So if you need a place to volunteer, Harvey House would be another one. Um, the downtown area with the Fifth Friday Arts is another one. I mean, these are all different kind of places. So I know sometimes at these awards banquets, it's like preaching to the choir, because you're the ones that I see out there. But you know what? Sometimes the choir needs their thank yous and appreciation said. And so I thank you all for the time and effort that you put into the city and into the chamber because it's just really going well and lots of positive things happening. So thank you very much. With that, I want to do our introductions of some VIPs we have here. And when I say your name, if you'll just do a little stand and wave to everybody so we know who you're talking about. From Congressman Nagabauer's office, Jay Barra and Mary Whistler are with us today. From the schools, we have Superintendent Julie Becker. Assistant Superintendent Chris Smith. Our principal at high school, Ms. Kennedy, Chris Kennedy. Our principal at junior high, Jim Andrus. Our principal at Kathleen Thomas, Ms. Andrus. And we have someone else very special from the schools today. Our new athletic director, Dustin Clapp. Tigerettes and a playoff to the uh, Shallow Water Mustangs. Yeah, that close. But you know what? They're still in it. They're in the top four. So, and that game was like that. Did y'all just love that game? Man, two points, three point difference, two point. Oh, we're tied. Oh my gosh! How much time's left? A minute. We're still tied. It was very exciting. So, great job, Coach K. From the Board of Trustees for the Slayton Schools, Carlos Benicourt's our president. For 
from the Slayton City Council squeaky self back there. I don't know why the City Council sits at the back table, but they're all back at the back table. Yeah, Buster Tucker. Denny Lopez. And Lynn Buckskipper just came in from the funeral, Lynn. We also have our city manager, Mike Lamberson. And now at this time I would like to introduce our chamber directors. And so if you're here, will you stand and then we'll applaud for everybody that's here at the end of the list, okay? Cal Averly, Jim Andrus, Julie Becker, Lance Bounds, Mike Delano, Brooke Etheridge, Mark Heinrich, Shannon Hensler, Jay Hurst, Patsy Vessels, James Villanueva, Chad Wilson, and myself. I'm serving as president. Jay Hurst is serving as vice president, and Ms. Becker is serving as our secretary and treasurer. Thank you to the chamber directors. And we also have someone that tries to keep all of us organized, which as you can tell, we've already had a couple of these people stand up with their other jobs and uh, activities they do in the community, so it's really, really hard to keep track of all of us, but Leslie Robinson, she keeps us organized. She's our chamber manager. She was back at the back door when we came in the door. So thank you to Leslie for helping keeping us all together. Okay. All right, so now I want to start with the actual awards. And since I have the mic, before I start with the awards, I want you guys to mark your calendar because this year we have all these great things happening. We have the air show coming this year. It only comes every other year and it is going to be June the 6th. So there's another opportunity to help volunteer with something because the air show brings in about 10,000 people to watch that. Isn't that amazing? We can about double our town in one day. But that uh, Mike Delano helps put that together and I tell you it is great, great, great. I hear lots of things outside of Slayton about the air show. So this year is air show and I wanted to mention that as well. Okay, for our Slayton Chamber of Commerce member of the year. Our member this year gives countless hours of course to all the activities that happen in the community. July 4th, car show, all of those things. This person is a good example for the chamber in the community as well. Uh, helps support us in anything that we need to. Uh, not only does this member act as an ambassador of Slayton, but his business also supports Slayton through the July 4th festival, through the car show, through stock shows. They also have one of the local coffee shops every day, which helps support everyone. I tell you this person, any activity that you can think of that you need help with, this person will come to your aid if you ask. Not once, turn down anything. Busy, busy schedule, busy family member, busy chamber director, just busy all the way around. But we are so happy for his support. Jay Hurst is our member of the year. Right, James? So it won't take but a second. 
So congratulations, Jay, and thank you so much for helping us out everywhere that you do, because I know you're out in the community and you're you're big in the stock show thing, and you really talk about Slayton really well and our ambassador for us, and we appreciate that. Okay? All right, at this time, would Elizabeth Martinez come to the podium? She is going to introduce our women's division and our woman of the year, and I've taken up a bunch of the podiums. <laughs> Hello, I'm Elizabeth Martinez with Smith South Plains. Um, I was president of the women's division. Um, we've been throughout the community trying to help the chamber, um, trying to stay involved, get things done in our community. Um, we have the 2015 women's division directors. If you're here, if you'll please stand up. We have Melissa Buckskipper, <coughs> Tana Copley, Becky Gamble, Darlene Jones, myself, Clarice Yawasuna, Kay Reed, Deborah Sims, Joyce Taser, Taylor, and Vanessa Valadez. We'll give these women a, an applause, please. Um, Vanessa Valadez, who could not be with us today, is actually going to be the new 2015 president. Our 2015 vice president will be Melissa Buckskimper. Our secretary will be Deborah Sims. And our treasurer will be Kay Reed. Um, with, with this being said, I also get to present um, the Woman of the Year Award. Hands down, we knew exactly who we wanted to pick. Um, this person is very special and near and dear. To us, she may not know many of us, but many of us know her. Um, and I just wrote a little something about her. It says, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Ralph Waldo Emerson. This year's Woman of the Year has certainly left many trails here in Slayton, Texas. Trails many of us want to follow. Whether we choose to follow her trail of love, love for her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, friends, and neighbors, or whether it is we choose to follow her trail of community involvement. She is actively involved in the Women's Chamber of Commerce, Slayton Senior Citizens, where she organizes bridge games, and the Daughters of the Pioneer Club, where she has been a charter member for 75 years. Or whether it is, her, or whether we, it is we follow her trail of persistence at 98, she was told she could not get a driver's license unless she went to the DMV. Well, guess what? She went to the DMV and a few days before her 100th birthday got her driver's license. <laughs> or whether it is we follow her trail of inspiration, inspiring others to dream and dream big. When she was younger, she dreamt about becoming an actress. She would dream about falling into the arms of Mr. Clark Gable. Please, please get on your feet and help me to thank her for choosing Slayton, Texas as her home until Hollywood calls our 2014 Woman of the Year, Miss Margaret Edwards.
Congratulations, Margaret. We're glad you came over as quick as you could, too. <laughs> Even though in 1933 I wasn't here, I'm glad to know you today. And you say you don't do anything, you do a lot. You do a lot for this town, and you still keep up at the senior citizens and the bridge games and everything else. So you are such an inspiration to us. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to bring Chad Wilson to the podium. He's going to introduce us to the boss of the year. All right, uh, it's my privilege to present this this year. Uh, our uh, boss of the year is extremely hardworking and promotes family values and lives by example. She's an outstanding member of the community and is a supporter of St. Joseph's School, Slayton High School, Slayton Little League, Slayton FFA, and is the president of the chamber, as well as the treasurer of the South Plains Chapter of Credit Unions. The credit union has grown tremendously in the past few years while she has been president. In return, this has added new positions and opportunities for their members. She stresses financial education and service to the membership and community. Not only does she see to the day-to-day -day operations of the credit union, she led the board in the building program that she led the board in the building program that more than doubled the size of their building. We, uh, the employees feel like Amory goes above and beyond the call of duty to help each and every member of the credit union and staff. She is always available to help with all of their needs and concerns. She is a multi-talented lady, and they are fortunate to have her as their boss. The 2014 Boss of the Year is Anne-Marie Bright. Prayer, and if it was, he'll say that I deserve another dessert or two. 
This man not only serves in all of these capacities that I have listed, but he has been at every cleanup Slayton event that we have had so far. The man of the year came to Slayton in 2000, and in 2010 he had the tough choice to retire or to move to another church in another community, and he decided to retire so that he could stay here with his family and friends in Slayton. Since his retirement, he has offered his services on a part-time basis to the First Christian Church. Our 2015 Chamber of Commerce Man of the Year for this year is Steve Campbell. Please come here.